Good morning, everyone. So I am on my way to work, which um, when I am not playing the role of an artist, I am a massage therapist. I got into doing massage therapy because I wanted to be able to do a job that I could work 20 hours a week as a therapist and 20 hours a week um, as an artist. I think that's a great idea. I think that if you've gone to art school, you might want to just go right back into technical school and get some sort of a job that can make you enough money in a part-time, you know, 20 hours a week that you can have the other 20 hours for your art. But no matter what, you have to do what you're passionate about. I love massage. I love helping people, but it's driving me crazy that it's taking me away from what I really want to do and it's to help people through art, to inspire people, to them feel awesome amazing good feelings make them talk about life and and um, their passions and just there's so much more I want to do through the medium of art while I'm alive while I'm here that the time that I spend massaging unfortunately it just makes me feel like it's time taken away from what I love so if you're an artist you have to find a way to fund your dreams not just find them but to fund them I understand that um, but I, I know that when I went to school, I thought that as long as you get a degree, they just hand you a job when you get out. I thought, I thought they just handed you like a cubicle job somewhere. They said, oh, you went to college? Okay, you get a degree. And then you get a job. Like, surprise, you won the lottery. But I graduated into the recession and um, it was really hard to find any job, even in a restaurant, and, um, and that is actually what I did for a while as I worked for Panera Bread. It was very difficult to do that because I felt like I had given up on everything that I just fought four years for and paid like 40 or $50,000 for. But, you know, I had to put food on the table and pay for rent, and you just, you do what you gotta do, but always be moving forward, always be trying to fight for your dreams and that's what I'm doing now. I am going to move towards doing art full time and, and fight for my dream and that's all you can do. Um, they don't hand you a job when you get out of college. You, there are plenty of jobs that you can take. There are plenty of jobs I could be working right now to pay for my bills. I wouldn't like them, but they'd pay for my bills. But that's not the life that I'm interested in. I am not interested in that sort of a life. I am interested in making the most of the time that I have here on this planet to love the life, to love the time that I'm given. Time is the most precious gift of all. It, it can be short. You can lose your life at any point. So you better make the most of it while you're here and you better fight for your dreams. And that's what I'm doing. I'll let you know what works for me, but everyone's path is different. Everyone's path is different. And what works for me isn't necessarily what's gonna work for you. But I'm gonna let you know what my journey is and, and I hope it helps you along your journey. I hope just the inspiration of someone else fighting for their dreams will hopefully inspire you to fight for yours. That's all I have to say. I'm gonna go massage some people. And while I do it, I'm gonna be thinking, how can I fight for my dreams? How can I make it where I just get to stay home and make art and go to shows and talk about it and help other artists, help them find their path? And what can I do to better the world through my art? Why is that my goal? Why is that my passion? Why am I here for that? Because I do feel I was put here with that gift for some particular reason that maybe I don't even fully know or understand yet. But I do believe that that is what I was, I was put here to do. So I better do it. And if you feel the same way, you better do it too.